Hello, a warm welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us today to the Midlands. We're here at the King Power Stadium. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leicester City up against Watford. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. Well, here's how Leicester City will line up. Oscar starts with Harry Winks in the engine room, and rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so the initial 11 for Watford. Well, if they're going to play as a 4-4-2, they must make sure they stay compact out of possession and then stretch the pitch when they do have the ball. How they play in transition is going to be key today. And the game begins. Walker Peters. Cannon. Well, here are the facts of the matter. The hosts have conceded more goals than any other side in the league. Their opponents have the best defensive record. How do you think the home side will set up in order to get a result today? Well, Derek, they have to set themselves up to stay compact, defend with great urgency, and then break from there. Otherwise, it's going to be a really tough day for them. Well, they're trying to get right into his face. So for Watford, it was even Steven in the last game. A draw against Liverpool. How do you think this one will go, Stuart? Well, that one all draw at home wasn't really the result they wanted. Today, they just need to play with a bit more freedom. And if they can do that, they'll win this one. They're all doing their bit to keep them out. Clark. Lombardi, Emmanuel Dennis, failure to keep the ball by Watford, Winks, and a change to the scoreline at Anfield, let's get all the information from Alex Scott. It's a goal from Palace, they've scored the opener here with 20 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. It might be, well somehow the goalkeeper got to it. A short corner. Oscar. Cody. And return to Oscar. Good looking move this. Fine tackle there to prevent. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say it has been coming. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Nathan Broadhead. Chance to run at them. And threading it through. And well positioned to clear. Emmanuel Dennis. Now what can they do from here? And this to level it. In it goes to square the game. What a contest this is turning out to be. 
Well, here it is again. And just look how he turns away from his marker and then gets his shot away. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Dennis Pryat. Oscar. Cannon. Difficult to stop him. Oscar. No way through. Chance maybe. And eventually goalkeeper's ball. Well, you can sense the relief amongst his teammates. But what a first save that was. A good effect of pressure high up the pitch. Possession one. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And tidy defensive play. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Great ball over the top. Lombardi could be troublesome can they convert my goodness that save fully stretched he was one for his own highlights reel over it comes and dealing with the danger as though there might be a threat but not so in the end good defending and time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the King Power Stadium Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. There's been so much speculation in terms of whether the transfer would go ahead, but it will go ahead, Stuart. Yeah, that price, I think, is value for money. He'll certainly improve their squad and maybe the team. It's a good signing, you have to say. Now, sending it in. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So there we have it, 2-1. Simone Scoupet. Andrade with it. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. News coming through from the Chelsea game. A goal has gone in, I believe. Alex Scott will tell us all about it. Yeah, it's a goal for Arsenal. It's now 1-0 with 58 minutes on the clock. Thank you, Alex. The ball back with Leicester now. Now, what can they do from here? And defensive play to be applauded. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? And the counter-attack is on, options available. They need to get bodies back. Oh, that's a super piece of defending.
Now this is the home of live football and we'll have live coverage of the third round of the FA Cup for you. It's Watford against Blackpool. Well, the cup always whets the appetite and that... Oh, wait, Stuart, they might score! Oh, great. block and over it comes to the owner of the red car registration BTO4 DOM please Gardner and scope for them to produce something exciting. And offside, unfortunately. And time for the change now. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Leicester showing good width here. And he cuts in from the wing. But the danger averted for now. And still looking to get the shot away. Good looking cross. He succeeds in clearing it. Well, as we approach full time, we have to say, playing away from home hasn't been a problem for them. Can they see it out? Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a really good contest, you have to say. But overall, I think they've just about deserved to be in the lead here. Can they now just see this game through for what will be an excellent win? Well, high quality defending. Now, can they hit them on the counter? And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Vargas. Giving it their all in search of an equaliser. Winks. Oh, the goalkeeper did well to hang on to that one. And that will be that. It is now official and it will go down as a positive result for Watford. How would you sum it up? Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. It might be. Well, somehow the goalkeeper...